Today is May 7th, 2020. I'm Ty. Welcome to Apocalyptic Gardening. I have my newest toy in hand. This is hopefully going to help me grow strawberries. I've always had bad luck growing strawberries, so I'm gonna build this new toy and hopefully this time we get strawberries. Okay, so here's the strawberry tower that we're going to plant here in a little bit. And I'm gonna mix this miracle Grow soil here with some of this and put some of this mulch in the bottom and hopefully that helps the strawberries grow awesome. Okay, so now you can see the tower is built and filled with soil. The next step is to add some strawberry seeds. Okay, so I have my alpine strawberries and uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lightly put the strawberry seeds in each one of these things here. So you can see. You got that whole little handful there, a whole bunch of seeds there. And we're just gonna put multiple seeds per location. And try to spread them out a little bit. And we're not going to push them down. I'm just going to set them on the top. And as I water them, the water will kind of just naturally push them down into the soil. Okay, so now I'm going to move the strawberry tower to its new location. And uh, then we'll water it. Hopefully that'll be stable there in that location. Now we're just gonna grab some water real quick. I've got my six year old's cute little watering apparatus here. And supposedly with these, you can just water the very top and it'll run down all the way through. But because I just planted everything, I think I'm gonna water each level individually. And there you have it. If you look close, you can see the little strawberry seeds in there. So you can see here, the grass is actually frozen. Good morning, everybody. Today is May 14th. It is a chilly morning, about 50 degrees out here. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a tour of the underground greenhouse and show you the progress on the weed-free garden bed that I planted about two weeks ago. I'm also gonna give you a tour of the yard because we have some fruit trees and show you our garden. We haven't planted yet because uh, the last couple of years when I planted on Mother's Day, the uh, garden has gotten beat up by the wind. And of course, it's been a crazy windy week. So I'm glad I didn't do that yet, but I'm still gonna show you that. So first I'm gonna show you the fruit trees. Okay, so on the west side of the property here, you can see I have six fruit trees, four apple trees and two peach trees. For some reason, this apple tree hasn't even started to get its leaves yet, but it looks like, if we zoom in, they're coming. So we will see. Uh, if you come over here to the apple tree, you'll see we've got some little flowers on here. So we are very hopeful that we will get apples. Okay, looking really close at the peach tree here, you can see it did get its flowers already and hopefully that means we'll be getting peaches. And you can see a brave little ladybug just hanging out on this leaf. Pretty windy. So this is my biggest and best fruit tree. It's a gala apple tree. And if you come in here and look close, you can see we've already had the flowers bloom and you can see apples starting to grow. So we're very hopeful this will be a good season. Okay, out here along the back of the house, you can see I have some raspberry plant starts. I've taken these raspberry plants from the garden and I sell them to the neighbors or whoever else needs raspberries. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the garden boxes outside. And as far as the rhubarb goes, you know from my last video, we've already harvested one set of rhubarb. So you'll get to see the progress of that. Okay, so looking at the rhubarb here, 
you can see we will be able to harvest again from that here pretty shortly. You can see the green onions there growing nice and tall. And if you look here, you can see we've got a lot of carrots starting to grow. Looking in this garden bed, you can see we've got peas growing here. And then I've got some lettuce. See some little lettuce starts coming in. And I have one thing of spinach. And then looking at this garden bed as well, you can see we have peas growing here as well. And like I said, we haven't planted anything else in these boxes because the weather has just been too crappy. So behind me here, you have the two peach trees that started the year in the underground greenhouse. So they're kind of ahead of the other peach trees. So if you look closely here, you can see we've already got a peach growing there. This tree has a few peaches growing. You can see up here, there's another one and a couple more right there. And then of course, if you come to this tiny little tree and look closely, you'll see you got some peaches growing right there and a nice big one growing right down here. So now let's head into the underground greenhouse. I think you guys are gonna be shocked and surprised at how big the plants have grown in there in just two weeks. So um, fortunately for the underground greenhouse, we don't have to deal with all these crazy weather changes and the wind. So uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you where we're at. Okay, so the first thing you see here is our strawberry tower. We have not had any strawberries start growing in that yet. That's pretty normal, we just barely did that. And then you can see down here, I've got the pepper plants growing. It's slow, but sure. Um, I'll talk more about these here in a second. You can see the onion plant growing there. The cauliflower plants are getting huge. We've got the two tomato plants right there and right there. You can see they're growing nice and large. And then you can see here, we've got our spaghetti squash plant. And if you look closely here, I'm not talking about the ladybug, but it's good to see her hanging out there. You can see there is a little fruit starting to grow right here. So um, hopefully we'll have some spaghetti squash growing there pretty soon. And then down here as well, you can look at this zucchini and it looks like it's about to flower. Okay, so now moving over to this garden box, you're gonna see that spaghetti squash plant is monstrous. This thing has just taken off. It's pretty unbelievable to see it. And if you zoom in here pretty closely, you can see We've got some flowers about to bloom here, so we will be getting some zucchini squash here pretty shortly as well. And if you look over here at the cucumber plant, you'll see there's little flowers growing in there as well. And it looks like some little cucumbers starting to grow. So um, we should get good production this year from those. Stepping backwards here, you'll see we have the lily koi right here and a lily koi plant over here. You've got the Yukon gold potatoes growing in this box here. Here's our lime tree. You can see it's growing really healthy, but we did not get any flowers out of it this year, so we probably won't get any fruit. And then you can see these two pots right here. Those are both red potatoes, and we're starting to get the flowers here on that. And if we step back, you can see the lemon tree, which also did not flower this year. So we probably won't get any lemons, but that tree's growing nicely. And here we've got the little orange tree, but this little orange tree appears that it's going to produce some oranges for us this year. You can see the tiny little orange right there. There's another one right here and up here as well. You can see a couple of them growing. So there's several oranges growing on this, albeit pretty slowly. So I'm a little worried if they don't really start growing fast, we might be in trouble. Then right here, we have the big, beautiful grapefruit tree. 
and this tree flowered like crazy this year. And if you look closely, we've got grapefruit popping up everywhere and they are growing really quickly. So you can see that's a nice big grapefruit there. And you know, we've got a couple side by side right here. And if you continue up the tree, you'll see multiple grapefruits. I mean, there's probably, I don't know, there's probably 50 or 60 grapefruits growing on this tree right now. So we'll have to pull some of those off. And then we move over to my favorite orange tree. It seems to be growing nice and healthy this year. It also has little oranges growing all over it. Okay, also you'll notice we still have things growing in here to sell to the neighbors. That's onions down there. Over here we have tomato plants and we have zucchini because you can't find zucchini anywhere this year. It's been hard for people. So I just planted some more zucchini seeds. And then we still have peppers and cantaloupe and more zucchini and, you know, some other plants as well. We are sparse on the plants um, that we sell to people because everybody came and bought a whole bunch right before Mother's Day. That being said, because uh, zucchini sold out so fast this year, I got some more zucchini seeds and I've just planted those. Hopefully they can grow in time for the season. So we didn't sell all of our starts. We kept some for ourselves for our own garden. Probably not enough, but if you look here, you can see we've got two watermelons. We've got two zucchinis in here. I have a cucumber plant and two uh, pumpkins. So uh, our garden will have a little something in there as well. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. If you found it enjoyable, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell to be updated each time I post new videos. Thanks.